And if, <laughs> they always snore, though. My friend has not even pugs. It's just any dog with a sound like bulldogs. Dude, it's just <laughs> literally like an old man. They can't fucking breathe. That is <laughs> how we ruined dogs. A big tug video. Lock in here, chat. They are the fr dogs. They are the friggin' best, dude. They're always there for us, they love us unconditionally, and their babies are cuter than our babies, which, from a survival instinct standpoint, doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. But I don't know, dude. I'd much rather hang out with this. Oh my god, yo. Oh. Dogs? I love dogs. I love dogs. But yeah, now, I, I know this is gonna get into how we ruin dogs. There's a lot of breeds. When I see somebody with a pug just my gut response is like wh why did you want that animal or a fucking thick like goldfish bowl eye chihuahua Ugh. like some dogs are just ugly and i'm not saying you have to have a cute dog for it to be a nice dog but like some breeds like i there's there's breeds of dogs that some people would say are ugly that are like great dogs, like bloodhounds. I think bloodhounds are cute because they got fat ears, but they're like ugly ass dogs, right? They got the fucking, they got like the droopy face, but they're nice dogs. Whereas like, why would you want to own a pug? Like pugs just, they have legitimate health problems because people have bred them to the point that they are fuck, they're fucked up. And then on top of that, they're annoying. Real and shittles for the sub. Yes, then that. My chihuahua's nice. You might have the one nice chihuahua ever. Evolution be damned. But that's just the thing. We have bred these things to defy the natural order of the world. They used to be a utility, like hunting, farming, protecting. A lot of dogs are still utility-based dogs. Like, if you have, like, a border collie, those big dogs are, are able to be utilized. I'm not using the right word here. Chat, what dog breed, if you own a dog, do you own? Goldens used to be like uh, hunting dogs. Border collies are like herding dogs. So were Rottweilers at one point. A boxer. See, like boxers have health problems. German shepherds are useful. There's a lot of dogs that are still useful animals, but I think people get into the fashion of owning animals that are so poorly developed. What? There's one animal that I would love. There's one dog breed that I would love to own that is useless in when it comes to survival, right? Those dogs that I want to own are like Border Collies and fucking um, like Golden Retrievers or Labs and just base animals. I would love to own a Golden Wiener. I would love to own, not, don't call it a dash, dash and Golden Retriever mix. It's a Golden Wiener. I would love to own a Golden Wiener. There's this one Golden Wiener I see on TikTok all the time. And it makes me, it's the only dog that I really would love to own. And I know it's useless. I know it's a useless animal. Does anybody know the TikTok account? He eats frozen peas. It's the cutest thing in the world. I love that dog. What is the name of it? Somebody knows. Golden Wiener TikTok. Name of the animal. A golden dashend. It's Noodle. Noodle. Noodle Golden Wiener TikTok. Oh my god. Where is it? Since Hold you up. got your degree, and you know every. I need to go on their account. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! It's muted, but look at this fucking dog, dude. Oh, look how fancy it just looks like a mini. But look at uh, their paws are all fucked up. It stands all weird. Oh, it's a cute ass dog though. They're so stupid. Small dogs are usually really dumb. And yes, we've made a couple breeds hyper good at those specific jobs, but it's a known fact that when you start playing God, it's pretty hard to shut that valve off. Look at this thing. Look at these weird shitty abominations. This thing specifically has made God cry. In this video, I'm going to- See, like, who would want to own that? In this video, I'm going to explain how we as humans, as a society, have ruined dogs and how those dogs have ruined us. And yes, disclaimer, I am an outspoken cat owner, but there's no real bias here. When I was younger, I had a lot of dogs. Cats are a pretty recent development in my life. So when I'm talking shit about dogs, I'm not just doing it to talk shit. I want the best for these little guys. And I don't know what this is, but it's not the best. What dog breed is that? So I just wanted to start this video off strong by taking some of the world's most favorite breeds. Oh, see, look. No, no, actually, no, these are usually fine. I don't know what these are called. I think that's a Pomeranian. Just let's fucking make them extinct. Get rid of them.
We don't need them anymore. Is that a chow? I don't know what dog that is. It looks like a fucking skinwalker, though. I'm fine with these two. Yeah, Yorkies are fine. The rest of these also fine. And talking about- I love Dalmatians. I feel like Dalmatians are underrated animals. If you want my honest, honest take here, I feel like nobody owns Dalmatians anymore. How we ruined them pretty horribly. The term purebred is super misleading. Although it sounds like the dog has perfect genetics and a flawless pedigree, it's pretty much the exact opposite. For instance, number one, the Golden Retriever. An absolute classic of a fan- oh! favorite. I challenge you to go to an affluent suburb and not find one of these things wearing a seasonal band. See, that's not a golden retriever, though. I have a golden retriever. Daisy is a golden retriever. That dog's white. And I'm not trying to discriminate here. But that is not a golden dog. That is more of a lab than a golden. It's white. They really are some of the best dogs in terms of looks and personality. It's a basic pick, but it's one of the best. You know, except for its horrendous health issues. Horrendous. Over the years, we've been breeding these things to look like- Yeah, no, they die. They're like dying younger now. Like some dogs get- some- a lot of golden retrievers just get cancer really early. The perfect toilet paper commercial dog. But we did that through inbreeding which is historically a, a notable blunder. So forcing these adorable creatures into banging their mom and sister has led to some horrible symptoms. Okay, see, like, why you gotta mate? Now that's- now that's upsetting me. Now you're telling me my dog's an incest dog. What the fuck? Now, now I'm not gonna- now I'm gonna look at Daisy and now I'm gonna forever just be like, uh, oh, like, somewhere down the line, you guys- including but not limited to hyperthyroidism sudden hair loss bouts of aggression their hips pop out their knees pop out. hip dysplasia though is common in very many big animals or big dogs like rottweilers boxers fucking labs most big dogs have hip dysplasia and last but not least uh cancer like yeah. a lot of cancer 60 percent of these dogs die from cancer Good God, stop making these things. And then we have pugs. See, now, now that's making me so sad. God, why did you have to talk about golden retrievers? Not on pugs. Talk about how pugs get super cancer, please. Instead of instead of talking about, like, golden retriever, talk about these fuckers. And how they, it looks like somebody smacked them in the head with a fucking Looney Tunes mallet. Deadass. Pugs look like they got hit in the face with a fucking bonk. Big or red mallet that just says bonk. And it fucking hit him in the face. So it looks like you'd pull their face out of their fucking head. Well, I don't even know what we were going for here. I don't- this is like a prank that went way too far. Before we haphazardly bred these things to look like steaming piles of malformities, they were kind of normal looking. Taller, with longer legs, longer noses, and like slim builds. But now it just looks like we forced them into pressurized cans of tennis balls in their formative years. And due to the weird human need to make these things look like squishmallows, their health is in the toilet. First of all, they can't breathe, and if- <laughs> Yo, they always snore though. My friend has not even pugs. It's just any dog with a sound like bulldogs. Dude, it's just like literally like an old man. They can't fucking breathe. If you look at this dog for more than two seconds, you'll understand why. It looks like they strictly chase parked cars. And they're also prone to all sorts of types of infections. And that weird turd on their fucking tail. And they also have a much higher risk of cancer and heart disease. A dog shouldn't have heart disease. That's an old man thing who's been eating hot dogs his whole life. This should not have heart disease. Oh, also their eyes fall out. Just pop out of their heads every once in a while. Blurred out due to overwhelming sadness, pugs' eyes can just fall out of their fucking head. I'm assuming if they're like stressed, their eyes just pop out. I gotta Google that. I don't want to look at a picture, but I want to look up, do pugs' eyes fall out? Wow, it's the first thing. Oh, it showed it! Oh, that's so sad. Yes, it's called eye proptosis, and it's more likely to occur in brachiocephalic breeds. Very short snout dogs. Their eye sockets are shallow, and they have trauma or pressure can dislodge both of their eyes. While pugs are like Ikea furniture. Don't they, show it. I'm not coming. You had a bunch of leftover pieces after you built it and you just kind of ignored it. And then four years later, you put a coffee mug on a table and it implodes. That's what a pug is. And then we have cockapoos, a mix of cocker spaniels and poodles. Now, Dude, every cockapoo I've ever met humped the shit out of me. Every cockapoo I have ever met. Now, I, I've only also met male cockapoos, but they just hump me, dude. Every time I see one, I'm just petting it. Like, I know, I have a few family members that have cockapoos, and I'll just be like, oh, this is a nice dog. I turn around, it's just fucking my knee. It's just absolutely just going to town. And I start running away, and it, like, follows me. 
of Cocker Spaniels and Poodles. Now growing up, my family was a cockapoo family. I had several of these growing up. Don't know why, my mom just really fucked with them. I didn't have any say in the matter, but they were good dogs. They're super trendy too. I can't go five blocks in my New York City neighborhood without seeing six of these things, or a golden doodle. But I don't like golden doodles. Their heads are too big, they're like horrible. Yeah, golden doodles, I don't know how I feel about golden doodles. Like, I don't think I would ever want to own one, but every golden doodle I've met is pretty chill. Anyway, but I mean, aren't cockapoos the cutest little things, honestly? They're super smart, they're hypoallergenic, and they also are genetically predisposed to have this thing called rage syndrome. They have a thing called rage syndrome. They are genetically predispositioned to have hate in their hearts. Rage syndrome means they will uh, explode in sudden acts of aggression out of literally nowhere. It's usually when- Yeah, but that'd be better to have in a small dog. You know, like if a cockapoo starts attacking you and trying to kill you, you could just kick the shit out of it. Like, that'd be worse in a Rottweiler or some animal that could, like, really cause damage. They're, like, slightly falling asleep or dozing off, and you rock up trying to get a cute little cuddle, and all of a sudden you're missing your eye and half your upper lip. My dog Chip definitely has that, and my mom just refuses to acknowledge it, and she blames me like I did something wrong when my dog snaps at me. Very victim-blaming, Jill. And on top of that, they're also prone to joint trouble, ear infections, hereditary eye problems, skin conditions, and metabolism-rated... Fuck, I got so close to getting that out. And metabolism-related disorders, which is, you know, run of the mill for common purebred breeds, but the rage syndrome is crazy. Am I not insane for thinking that? And finally, we have Collies, one of the most American dog breeds. It's Lassie. Everyone loves Lassie. Really? I like, I, do any of you own this dog? I've never seen this. Is that a border Collie? What is this? It's just Collie? What is a Collie? Actually, this dog is not American. It comes from, I think, Northern Ireland. I just really thought this dog was American. I don't think any, are there any American dogs? I feel like every dog comes from Europe just because there aren't really many new breeds. American dog breeds. Dogs that originated in the U.S. Oh, fuck. A Cocker Spaniel. Wow. Rat Terrier, Red Bone Coon Hound. American Bulldog. Toy Fox Terrier. American Hairless Terrier. Okay, a lot of Terriers. Like, almost every Terrier. Plot, black and tan, Australian Shepherd. I always thought these dogs rode the line of the uncanny valley. That is like an ugly dog. It looks weird. I don't like it. I feel like its snout's too big, but I don't know. It just, I feel like the angle of the snout's just weird. It just looks off. Like it should, their snout should be bent like 10 degrees up, and then it would look normal. They're big and fluffy and adorable, but then they're- You look weird, buddy, I know face is shaped like a birthday cone and that cannot be see i'm not the only one see oh but i'm the dickhead and i point out that it looks funky for nature and my hunch was correct because they didn't used to look like that and now they're genetically predisposed to have epilepsy hip dysplasia heart disease and bone disorders their bones get fucked up jesus christ so in spirit we killed lassie we as a nation have killed lassie just get a mutt what are we doing stop breeding these things get a mutt so now that we know that getting a purebred dog can be kind of a dick move, let's talk about how much of a bad investment it is. It's time to play America's favorite game show, Guess That Obscene Price. I cannot believe how many concepts that- dogs are expensive too. It does actually make more sense to just get a mutt or adopt a dog. This segment fits into. Today I have calculated the price of the dog as well as the costs that come with owning such a malformed creature over the course of its depressingly short lifespan. Number one, we have the French Bulldog, popular amongst retired old ladies and clout chasing influencers who thought these dogs just knew how to skateboard. These guys are admittedly kind of cute, but they are genetically pre- Oh my god. No, they are cute though. I like- I don't know why I like these. Because they have a scrunched up face, but uh, when they have their ears down, I like the ones with their ears down. Disposition for uh, diseases such as heat stroke, hip dysplasia, and ulcers. Okay, how much do we think these little medical marvels cost? For a purebred, you're paying $4,000 up front just to own one. Whoa! Dude, that's fun. That's a lot of money. Like, how much should a dog... I feel like a dog should cost like a thousand bucks. I feel like that's even expensive for some dog breeds, but I feel like a thousand bucks for a dog, it's like a living thing four grand and that thing might just die when it's like three these things but wait there's more with high insurance costs because these things are practically lemons and constant vet bills because all their issues you're going to be paying on average two thousand dollars a year which over a 10-year lifespan you're looking at twenty four thousand dollars just to own this dog and the only number i'm upset about is that 10-year lifespan oh my god number two how about the afghan hound the only dog that's genetically designed to look like it needs to ask for the manager despite its upsetting appearance these dogs are expensive it costs you two thousand dollars just to get a puppy but if we've learned anything it's that the more expensive a puppy is the closer it is to death 
This video is making me so sad. Wait, what? Predisposed to cataracts and hyperthyroidism. Oh my god, that actually is kind of facts, though. If you have a cheap dog, it's probably gonna live long. Unless something's wrong with it, but... I feel like mutts... Like, what is the average lifespan of a mutt? 10 to 13 years. But mutts aren't necessarily, like, a lot... Like, I have a few friends that have mutts that just look like... Most mutts just look like labs that I've met. Like, this is a mutt. Not all mutts look like this. I'm, for people that don't know, a mutt is just a bunch of breeds. This is, like, most of the images when you search mutt. Like, this looks like it's probably just some sort of lab mixed with maybe a boxer. Like, their legs are really long or something like that. How old's Daisy? Six. The average sp lifespan of a golden retriever is, um, hold on. 10 to 12 years. Oh my god. See, now that's gonna make me sad. Chad, I'm telling you right now, when Daisy dies, I am going to be in, sh in shambles. And hyperthyroidism is such a bummer. And with all that entailed, they're gonna be spending up to $3,000 a year. It's more fucked up than the bulldog. And with an average 12-year lifespan, you're gonna be spending $39,000 just to own this dog. Why would you do that? And that's before any of the grooming fees you have to spend to keep this thing looking like a nightmare version of Julia Roberts. How about a Samia? Known for being the cutest goddamn things on earth. Oh, I love this dog so much. A high quality Samia puppy can cost up to $6,000, wow. which if you don't know- That makes sense. I don't want to say it makes sense because that's still really expensive, but like I don't see this dog often and I'm assuming not many people breed it. Is a lot of goddamn money. But despite the fact that they're always smiling and look like they're little cloud angels, their bodies are rapidly falling apart. They're prone to corneal dystrophy, autoimmune conditions, and cardiac disorders that can amount to $5,000 yearly. Oh my god. So with the average lifespan of 12 years, you're going to be paying $66,000. You're paying the amount of money you would get for a brand new BMW i4. And instead you're spending that money to keep this thing alive when it clearly just wants to die. But you could probably make that money back just by making an Instagram for one of these things because everyone likes Yeah, money. every fucking TikTok account. I thought about that, chat. I thought about it. If I, you want me to be real. I said, damn, I could make a TikTok account with Daisy and just post minute-long videos. Probably make a fucking rack. I love looking at them. They make me so happy and they're so cute and loving. But Jesus Christ, they're built. Like, you think a lot of, yeah, the people that own, like, that noodle dog, that golden wiener that I showed you guys. I bet the owner loves them. But at the same day, that owner is making a fucking bag. Dude, their job is probably to just fucking take videos of that fucking dog. To not last. And finally, we have the Tibetan Mastiff, the cutest thing on earth that will tear out your throat with zero hesitation. These guys are actually an ancient dog breed that were bred to protect monks. I've seen a Tibetan Mastiff. I've seen a Tibetan Mastiff in real life. They are fucking terrifying. Now, I don't know if it was a Tibetan Mastiff, but it was a big Mastiff. Temples, which is cool as shit. It was like fucking 200 pounds. And it was angry. I didn't even get in the same uh, room as it. Because there, there was a fence in front of us, and it was dogs show their teeth because they're mad it was like it like had emotional issues and it would take like dog xanax or some shit like that to like calm it down it would fucking claw like it would jump up on the fence and go and fucking show all of its teeth at me and i was like damn dude if i walked into that fucking room with it it would actually tear me to shreds so I want you guys to do the math on this one. Using everything we've learned so far, every dog has gotten a little bit more expensive. There is a theme. There is a pattern. How much do you think this dog costs? $1.9 million. Yeah, no, that's that. I did not see a Tibetan Mastiff. I saw a Mastiff. Well, kind of, actually. There was one dog that sold for $1.9 million because they said it had tiger blood in it. That was kind of a joke. That was a fun one. I just wanted to lighten the mood while I talk about the saddest fucking thing I've ever talked about in a video ever. So now that I have talked about how much we have fucked up dogs as a species, I want to talk about how much dogs have fucked us up. I don't know what's happened in the last 30 years, but we have become way too into pampering our dogs. Why am I still holding the mic like this? We've gotten way too into pampering our dog. I'm all for buying the fancy dog food so it lives longer and putting it in a cute doggy hotel instead Oh my god, but I feel so nice when I go to a pet store and I buy my dog the fancy treats. When it's my dog's birthday or like Christmas or something, I'll go to like a pet smart and I'll buy like the the fucking treats like the ones that are like fucking forty dollars for a fucking bag and it's like beef liver that's like freeze-dried or some shit of a kennel when you go on a work trip but besides that that's the limit things get too weird after that so i have found you feel like a rich white woman when i do that for my cats dude oh no you feel great 
You feel like you feel like you're the best person in the world too. You buy some nice treat and your dog, you get home and your dog starts freaking out. The most ridiculous dog themed establishments that I want to make fun of because they are ridiculous. Number one, dog restaurants. Could you be okay, more white, please? I'm not talking about dog friendly restaurants. I'm talking about restaurants for dogs. Can I think of a- No, but dead ass, I'd take my dog to a dog. I didn't even know that was a thing. I would take Daisy to a dog restaurant. Oh, that'd be fucking amazing. I wouldn't even even I wouldn't even need to eat. If they put my dog in a chair and they started bringing out meals and gave her like a bib, I would just I would be smiling the entire time. I would be so I would be like, oh, this is amazing. This is, this is enjoyable. Bigger waste of time. You don't have to lie and say you're Pomeranian's an emotional support animal like you do at Applebee's. No, this place is expecting six feet through the door. Literally have a whole dog menu. A whole menu for dogs and little dog tables for the dogs. Each meal is about $20 for a dog and they have dishes such as peanut butter pancakes and yak and chicken cheese waffles. What the fuck? Just the most insane white people should have ever seen. I don't want to trash on my own people, but get it together, guys. What are we doing? These things used to hunt caribou in packs and now they're going to brunch. Although the name of the restaurant is called Chateau Le Wouf. Which I, and that is <laughs> Chateau Le Wouf. Yo, that would be on my schedule. Oh, chat, sorry, I can't stream today. I'm going to Chateau Le Wouf with Daisy. Cute. Number two, we have all day dog spas. Not dog groomers, spas. It's a spa for a dog. A full retreat for your dog. I wasn't aware that playing fetch and barking at nothing all day was so fucking stressful. But seeing as we have bred some of these things into anxious balls of existential dread, I can understand why they might need a day off. The dog experience comes with a spa where they get massaged, AKA pet by a stranger for money. You can just ask anyone to do that. Everyone loves petting dogs. Why are you spending money on that? A pool for lounging around, a luxurious exercise walk on insanely fancy grounds, a shampoo bubble bath. Dogs don't like baths. That's not relaxing for a dog. What are we, why are we, why be lying to ourselves and then they finish the day with some tea and biscuits some organic dog biscuits and some stuff called earl greyhound tea which once again that's cute as shit but I, it's ridiculous there's also dog I, I don't know i feel like th this is like one of the only things that i'm gonna be like i don't want to say it's worth it because it's not it is a scam but i would still do it like i if they're like a hundred bucks and your dog's gonna have like a spa day i'd be like yeah i'll bring my dog there like amusement parks like a dog knows what the fuck is going on. Bring your dog to the park. It has no fucking clue that what, how much money you're spending on this and how much more fun it is. Yeah, now, realistically, just bring your dog to a park or like the woods and your dog will just go wild fucking sniffing shit for like five hours. Throw it a stick. That's all it needs. I also found a dog water park called Dog Splash Bark, which once again, adorable. No fucking way that's profitable. How many people are showing up for that? And finally, we have dog chiropractors. Uh, this is not really a location. It's just something I'm really passionate about. Don't bring your fucking dog to a chiropractor. Don't do that. Have you seen these videos for people? Yeah, no, those are scary. I, I think you can't be a professional dog chiropractor. You could be able to train on humans, but how do you know how to crack the bones of animals? They're bringing their dogs to a douchebag with a fake degree to twist their spine until it snaps. Look how scared this dog is, and it does nothing for the dog. In fact, it can actually really hurt the dog. It can really fuck up the dog if they do it wrong. Stop bringing your dogs to chiropractors. Stop going to chiropractors. I actually have a lot to say about chiropractors and their pseudoscience bullshit. I mean, for one, it's not even- have you, got, have you guys ever been to a chiropractor? I went when I had back problems in high school and they made me feel better for like five minutes. They would put these electrical things on my back and then crack the shit out of it. And it would make me feel better for like a brief moment. What I learned is that if your lower back hurts, instead of going to a chiropractor, just do a decompression exercise. Like, I don't want to say hang upside down on a fucking pole or something, but like if you have like an inverted bench at your gym, put it all the way up, lay down, and then relax your back, it, and it works better than going to a chiropractor. I mean, the guy who invented it thought if you swallowed some fucking magnets, it would cure cancer. He's a fucking lunatic. It's pseudoscience. What was I talking about? Dogs? Right, dogs. The conclusion of this video is you just need to buy a mutt. If you're gonna get a dog, go to a shelter and buy a mutt. They just have so much love to give. They are miles above every other dog in terms you of- You think it would be a health problem if you swallowed a magnet and then put another magnet on the outside of your body?